the Solar PV Cast by Shift, a podcast exploring solar energy and the role it plays in improving our lives and our planet. Here's your host, Chris Palliser. Making the transition to solar has never been easier, not only due to programs like net metering, but also due to government incentives, such as the Greener Homes Program. Joining us today to chat about this exciting new option for homeowners is Daniel Guillaume, Energy Advisor for Gets Energy. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome to the podcast. Well, thank you. Thank you again. Yeah. It's uh it's great to be here and great to sit down with you guys and shift and and talk about this exciting incentive, the Greener Homes program. Can you just tell us a bit about that? Yep. So there's a couple of different programs. We've got the Greener Homes Grant, uh, as well as the Greener Homes Loan. So the Greener Homes Grant provides homeowners uh five generally fifty fifty Fifty-six hundred dollars uh, to to go towards home energy retrofits, including solar. Um, so, in addition to that, there's also the Greener Homes Loan Program, uh, which provides uh, again up to forty thousand dollars in interest-free loans over ten years uh, to again uh, put towards these home energy retrofits that are available, including including solar. Now, who's eligible for this program? Generally, any homeowners. Uh, so, as long as you as long as you live in your home and own your home, uh, you'll be eligible for for these rebates. Uh, the other the people that aren't aren't eligible are uh, generally only people that are renting out their houses and don't live in them. So, you can still have a suite and rent out a suite in the house. Uh, as long as you live in the house, you'll still be eligible for those rebates. Now, this rebate is it. Do you always get the five thousand? Is it up to five thousand? How is that determined? So it's determined based on the uh, the retrofit that you're looking to install. So, for example, for solar, uh, you'll you'll be eligible for a thousand dollars every kilowatt that you install on the on, on the roof. Oh, okay, so if you're over a five kilowatt system, you're looking at getting the five thousand. Exactly. You mentioned fifty six hundred. Where does that six hundred come into play? Yep. So that extra six hundred dollars goes to offsetting our services. Um, so generally, our pre retrofits uh, in in the Victoria area are six hundred dollars. Um, so we we like to match that up so that uh, the pre retrofit assessment, uh, so the the assessment that we would do before you install the solar panels, uh, come at no cost to you. Amazing. And then is there a post evaluation then that would be a small fee at the end? Correct. Yeah. So there's a, a small fee, uh, significantly less, uh, typically around the $300 range uh, that we would do after the solar panel system is installed. Uh, and that just comes to verify and make sure that everything is uh, installed uh, and just checking to see what exactly was installed uh, in that time. All part of the process. Now, I know a lot of people, oh, it's a government thing. Is there a lot of hoops to jump through? How have you found um, that whole process? Yep. So I think it's it's been a learning process for, for everyone. Uh, everyone has been kind of working in the same direction to to decrease the time that it takes to uh, both get the assessments done, uh, get get all of the retrofits completed, and then work, work their way through the grant and the loan process. Um, but fortunately, it seems like most of the kinks are worked out of the system at this time. Um, so whereas I think uh, some people in the past have, have had some delays for sure, uh, it's, it's mostly worked its way through, through the system now. All right, let's kind of go step by step. I'm a home, homeowner. Uh, I want to make my home more energy efficient. And so the first thing is I'm going to get you guys involved. What kind of, what, what are you going to do like in my house? How are you going to determine that? Yep. So generally what we're going to be doing is we're going to come to your house. Uh, we're going to take a look at everything that's involved with energy efficiency. So uh, we're going to take note of all your mechanical systems. Uh, if you have any renewables on your house right now, uh, as well as say things like uh, your window types, uh, how many windows you have, where they're located and how much insulation you have. Um, so with that information, what we do is we, we create an energy model for the house. Um, and then what, what you'll end up getting out of that is a report that tells you exactly how much each of those, your home systems is going to use as far as energy usage. Um, and then another report that attaches upgrades to each of those uh, home components. Um, so for example, we would include solar panels on, on all of our houses. Uh, we would include, say for example, heat pumps, uh, upgrades to your windows, and even if we wouldn't necessarily recommend each of those items, we're going to include those on the report so that you know exactly how much uh, energy that you would be looking to uh, save if you were to upgrade any of those components. That's handy. Break it all down for you. Mm -hmm. So I've decided now, okay, I'm going to go with solar. This is great. I'm going to go with shift. Yeah, um, and then once that sign off has happened in the process, can I get the install right away? Obviously, depending on the lead time for that, that company. 
How would that work, or do I have to wait for approval? So it's a, there's a couple of different things to, to keep in mind. So if you're just looking at, at using the Greener Homes Grant Program, uh, as long as the, uh, the system is installed after the pre-retrofit assessment, so after our first assessment, um, then you'll qualify for the grants um, and, and won't have any issues on that side. Um, the one caveat is if you are looking to use the loan program, uh, the Greener Homes Loan Program, uh, then there is a little bit more of a delay and you should push it out a little bit longer um, just until you make that Greener Homes Loan application. Uh, we do recommend that uh, if you're if you're counting on the loan money to to make the the retrofit, um, so if you if you wanted to make sure that you were going to get the loan before uh, you install the solar panels, um, then you can wait until you get approved. So that that time period is a little bit longer. Uh, right now, they're working. I'm sure they're working their hardest at, at decreasing the amount of time that it takes. Um, but there is a about a 25 day approval uh, approval time that there that there currently is right now. Let's talk about a bit about that loan. I mean, zero percent interest, ten year payback, up to forty thousand dollars. That's free money. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's rare and even rarer, I think, from the to see it from the government. Uh, so I think a lot of people are really excited about it, really happy about it. And from what I can tell, e even though we do have to, there there is a waiting period for it. Uh, the waiting period is well worth it because there, there's not really. I haven't heard of another program that has been similar uh, or, or around that, that matches the 0% the interest. Do you get that money for the loan before the installation or once you've had that post-evaluation? So once you're, once you're approved for the loan, uh, then they will release up to 15% of the total loan value up front to pay okay. for those, uh, those upfront costs. Um, so so that you would get the 15% upfront and then the remaining the remaining money from the loan program as well as the grant program comes after the post assessment um, so there is a period of you would have the solar panels installed uh, and then after the solar panels installed you just let us know uh, we would come back do the post assessment uh, and then typically about about a week later those all of those reports and that information will be to Enercan and then fairly soon after they they've committed to having it, it issued within 10 days um, that will be just direct deposited into your account for the the remaining loan balance okay so kind of here's my proof it's done got the okay and then they send you the money exactly yeah yeah that's pretty exciting I mean I'm kind of doing some math in my head like so say ballpark 25k for a solar system it's going to offset 100 percent. i mean i'm paying i think about 160 170 bucks a month for hydro right now exactly so 25 you take the 5,000 grant off 600 covers the pre-assessment and the 20,000 goes on a zero percent loan my payment's almost what i'm paying for hydro right now exactly and that's typically what we're seeing as well especially for the solar systems uh is that you're the, the amount of the payments that you would end up paying uh, on a monthly basis. So what happens is that that twenty five thousand uh, dollars. What they do is they they divide that by one hundred and twenty months, so that ten years, uh, and then that would be that would be your monthly payment for that loan. Uh, so you're free to if you wanted to pay it off sooner, you're you're certainly free to pay it off sooner. Uh, but what they would do is so that twenty five thousand, for example, uh, after the grant would be reduced to about. Uh, about one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Hmm. Um, wow. So that one hundred and fifty dollars a month would just go to to offsetting all of your electrical costs. And in ten years, the loans paid off. You're free and clear on mm -hmm. on your solar upgrade, and hydro's only going up, but that loan payment staying the same. Exactly. O honestly, it's a it's a no brainer right now. Yeah. Wow. How have you found um, the uptake to this program? Yeah, so so right now, I would say the uptake is has been very good, uh, especially recently. I mean, because the the loan terms are are so good, I think there was a little bit of hesitancy at first because uh, it almost seems too good to be true. Uh, but people are are starting to to really uptake in it. I know uh, in some of the the greener homes loan program meetings, we've seen uh, that they've had about fifteen thousand applicants, I believe, in the last couple of weeks. So over that. The, the total number of applicants that they're they're allowing for are 175,000 okay. uh, and that's 4.4 billion dollars that they've allocated to to the greener homes loan program um, so that's not necessarily to say that uh, if 
Uh, that that would be if all 175,000 people used all of the the money available. Right. Uh, they're obviously they've allocated a certain amount of money, so that 4.4 billion. And once that's used up, then then that's the how long the program will end. I guess there's no real way of determining how long that would be, but I guess we've got some time if, if people are looking at it. Yeah, certainly. So with the with the Greener Homes Grant Program, uh, what we can do is we can look at the number of applicants that we've we've currently got. Um, so that's that's in the neighborhood of 230 to 250 thousand applicants right now. Um, and what they've set aside is seven seven hundred fifty thousand applicants for the Greener Homes Grant. Okay. So. Realistically, uh, th- that program is likely to to go for the full uh, the, the next five years. Um, the Greener Homes Loan Program it's a little bit harder to harder to tell, um, but we we know that there's in the neighborhood of uh, twenty to thirty thousand applicants already out of that total of one hundred and seventy five thousand. Um, so uh, again, we're we're not expecting this to to end in the near future, and. Really, what, what we need to know is that these programs are really there to, uh, to, to push and to help us reach our goals of the, the 2030 and 2050 goals. So really, while, while there seems to be end periods for, for all, of these, uh, all of these programs, we are expecting them to just get bigger, coming closer to those goals. Well, and that's what's so exciting about solar specifically is people are kind of realizing that it makes sense. And especially with incentives like these, it makes even more sense. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so it's a pretty exciting time. Yeah. You you enjoy getting out there and being a part of the solution? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's honestly, it's great. Um, the, the people that you meet are, are the best part of it, really. Uh, everyone's really engaged and uh, really like it's... It's helping people to be more comfortable in their homes, uh, as well as improving all the energy efficiency. And it, it, it's it's really great to work with Shift too. Uh, everyone seems like they're on the same page with the homeowners, uh, the contractors, and and us as well. Um, it, it's it's honestly it's just really great working as a team. Well, we, yeah, we appreciate that, and and it's such an easy conversation to have. I find around renewable energy, specifically in the world of solar, because. And that's why I love the education angle, because it just makes sense when you explain it. You can't really find holes in it. And especially with things like the Greener Homes program. Yeah, yeah, certainly. It's uh, it's nice that it's nice that everyone can get on the same page with it. Uh, and, and I think it's rare to see the that all of these programs and incentive programs are available uh, and even though there are some hiccups here and there, uh, everyone's kind of pushing the pushing the rope in the same direction. For sure. What's the somebody's listening to the podcast, watching this on YouTube? What's the first step for them? So, first step, uh, if if you're interested in a solar system, obviously contact Shift. Uh, if you're if you're just interested in in your home's overall energy efficiency, um, then certainly give uh, give us a call. Uh, Gets Energy. Uh, come check out our website at getsenergy.ca. Uh, on the website, you can we have lots of good information as well. Um, we have a great little handbook uh, that we've just released that goes over all of these, all of the information about both the Greener Homes Grant Program, the loan program, and all of the different rebates that you have available. Um, so what we've done is we've taken all of these different rebate programs, so the the federal, municipal, and provincial programs, and kind of just put it all in one nice place so that people can just see it all in this one handbook. Beautiful. That kind of reminded me, can you use the Greener Homes Program with a provincial rebate or anything like that or is it kind of standalone no nope. uh it's it's really good all of these all of these different rebate programs are uh are separate so you're you're able to kind of i guess what they would call it is double dipping but uh like you're able to double dip triple dip into all of the municipal provincial and federal rebates for all of these items and say for example even with the the loan program uh it's not just one one retrofit that you're you're kind of uh, tied yourself to. Uh, you can do as many things as you'd like, uh, as long as you you stay within within your your budget that you're allowing for yourself. Amazing. There's no reason not to do it. No, no it's uh, it like you're saying. It's it feels like free money when you're doing it. Yeah, amazing. Zero percent on that loan. Incredible. Well, that's the Greener Homes Program, uh, federal government incentive to help you make the transition to solar, or just in general make your home more energy efficient, which is a great thing. Dan, thank you so much for joining the show today. Thank you. It was great to be here. The Solar PV Cast by Shift with Chris Palliser. To begin your solar journey, visit shift.ca.